That vegan teacher is a 57-year-old fired school teacher who is an animal rights activist and posts TikToks talking about veganism and forces it down people's throats with a cringy, not catchy song about veganism, possible racism, possible homophobia, most likely Nazi appreciation, and most definitely narcissism. And I quote, narcissism. And personally, I don't agree with her methods of pushing the culture of veganism to others. To be honest, I'm a meat eater myself. I love chicken. Yum. And if she's watching this, then I respect vegans and vegetarians, but I don't respect the way that you push animal rights to others, okay? So before we start, let's talk about a little drama here. She's an animal rights activist, which if you don't know what that is, an animal rights activist tries to influence others to the ways of animals not being harmed, which to be honest, I wish that she knew what a food chain pyramid is. So if you're still with me, Miss Katie, here you go. A food chain pyramid shows the animals mostly eaten by other animals in life. Now, life was made for animals to eat each other, such as a bear eating fish or a dragonfly eating wasps. These are the ways of life, and if you don't agree, well, that's just what it is. You just can't go, or so, you just can't. So, enough rambling. Let's begin now. So the first video we'll be watching is a video with Miss Katie and Kyle Bovlosky. And to my South Park viewers, you've been warned of cringe. Let's take a look. Uh, so right off the bat, this is obviously a fake comment. Before she says anything, nobody but vegan narcissists like her. Some do for money and views, which is fine. Also, it's kind of ironic with Kyle Brofloski, a Jew, next to that vegan teacher wearing a shirt about the animal holocaust. It's a little weird, don't you think? Yeah, that's that's pretty weird. Illuminati confirm. However, you know you really shouldn't lie. I wasn't born yesterday. I checked your site. You're not vegan. You don't care at all about veganism. However, if you make the effort, I'll play your song, Blue, and we'll dance to it during my next live. All you have to do is duet this particular video right now. And on the side, when you're standing there, I want to see you eating a vegetable or a fruit for the whole duration of this video. And I want you to change your name to have the word vegan in it. And when I see that, I'll keep my end of the bargain. So, right off the bat, that's some weird shit. Just add vegan to your name. That's just a little weird. Don't you think, Miss Goody? <sighs> also, by the way, I sound very tired. It's about 3 in the morning just making a video. Um, yeah, that's about it. So the next video right off the bat says, Don't ignore this atrocity. Or, I, I sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the word atrocity. Be vegan. So this will be fun to watch. Yeah. When you witness the horror that really happens behind closed doors in slaughterhouses to farm animals all over the world, it's impossible not to be affected by it and to realize that we have to do something drastic to, to, to stop it. Um, we need to put an end to factory farming. It's um, awful. It's one of the cruelest industries in the world. And that's why we're here today. It's so important that we, that we come to realize this. And also, the incredible suffering of animals in factory farms. Chickens in, in factory farms are... Whoops, mic was in on. So, not... Uh, you know that not all farms are factory farms. You know this, right? But, um, this video was a little interesting. Um, you can watch the whole video. It's actually, um, I don't know why. I kind of find it interesting in a way. But, it was interesting to talk about just a little bit. I don't know why. I thought it was. Okay, cool. 